but never fails to delight. By the time Arazi stepped into the paddock for the St. James's Palace Stakes, opinion was equally divided. Should he be forgiven for his poor run in the Kentucky Derby as a one-off? Or might he be a horse with his future behind him? Arazi himself has never been prepossessing. In the parade, he was fidgety and on his toes. His great rival, Rodrigo de Triano, the winner of both the English and Irish 2,000 guineas, was also on his toes in the parade and far from relaxed. Had his run in the derby taken his toll? Peter O'Sullivan picks up the story. And there away, Rodrigo de Triano just dwelt a tiny bit in the stalls and going on in the early stages, Zahi, Zahi with Beldi in the early stages, Zahi on the inside of Beldi, then comes Azud, then Brief Truce on the outside, Castadou's just in behind them, Rodrigo de Triano is the back marker, River Falls, two from last and one from last to Razi. And still, Zahi. Zahi making it from on the outside Beldi, tucked in behind is Azud, big truce on the outside, Castadu comes next, then Arazi, then River Falls, and then Rodrigo de Triano, the back marker. As they race now towards the five furlong marker, and Zahi still the leader from Beldi, behind Beldi is Azud, and then brief truce on the outside, Castadu, then Arazi, River Falls, and Rodrigo de Triano half a mile from home now and as they do as they pass the half mile pole it's Zahi the leader from brief from Beldi, behind Beldi is Azud, then Brief Truce, then Castadu, Arazi poised just in behind Castadu, Rodrigo de Triano still last as they swing into the home stretch now, with two and a half furlongs to run, and it's Zahi the leader from Azud, then comes Beldi on the outside, Brief Truce, Castadu putting in a good run, Arazi's been swept to the outside, Rodrigo de Triano also, it's Zahi in the lead over on the far rails, here comes Rodrigo de Triano towards the stand, Brief truce and Zahi have passed it together from Azud and Rodrigo de Triano and Arazi. It's a photo finish between Zahi on the far side and Brief truce on the near side. Well, what a race and what a disappointment, Arazi. Leicester comes into the straight last on Rodrigo de Triano, but for a moment it looked halfway up the straight as though he might do it. Zahi, who's forced the pace, still holding Azud here. Beldi four from the left. Here comes Brief Truce on the outside. Arazi just flattered for a moment, but when Steve went for his whip, there was nothing in the locker. And then came Leicester, last and widest of all, and for a moment it looked as though he might pick up. He went past Arazi, but the others had a length, length and a half on him. Zahi, who's run with such terrific courage, keeps battling away on the far side. But now this great big race jockey, Michael Canan, throws down his challenge on Brief Truce. Blinkered for the first time today. The blinkers have helped him. Rodrigo's still got only half a length to make up in the last 150 yards, but he hasn't the resources to do it. Arazi's beaten here, and as the line gets closer, Brief Truce thrust his head in front, just on the line, from Zahi. And Brief Truce did get there in the very last stride. Brief Truce, the winner, at 25 to 1. Zahi second, 8 to 1. Azud third, at 6 to 1. So, a triumph for the Irish, and especially for trainer Dermot Wells. I asked him if he came to the meeting confident or just optimistic. I was very pleased with the way my horse was. He'd worked very well last week, and he's a lovely colt. He's an improving horse. And I said, if you're not in, you can't win, and we'd have a crack. But he had, what, two and a half lengths to make up on Rodrigo de Triano on the Irish Guineas form, and I suppose the blinkers must have helped you a bit. Yes. But my colt is an improving horse. We had a wet spring in Ireland. He'd been running in yielding ground. He improved well to win the Galanoos, again on yielding ground. And uh, got his ground today. He's improving. And uh, I thought Rodrigo ran an excellent race, but you must remember he's been to Epsom. So what did happen to Arazi? Well, Steve Corson reported that he did pick up for half a furlong, but he couldn't carry through with his run. Obviously, he said, there is a problem. The trip to Kentucky had a negative effect.